sleeping in zero G would be so comfortable. That is until you run out of oxygen. What are we talking about? Hello, everybody, and welcome to What Are We Talking About? Thank you for joining us today. And clearly by us, I mean me and this scout trooper. Today, we are talking about space and microgravity, specifically relating to convection currents. For those of you who are unsure of what convection currents are, it's the effect that air of different temperature create when it's in a gravitational field. You can see in this diagram that the candle heats the air, causing the air to rise and sucking in cool air to fill that empty space. This is a convection current. Convection currents and diffusion, which is the spread of basically anything other than water over a, a period. So if you fart over here and then your friend f five minutes later can smell it over there, that's diffusion. It's basically something that's... It, it, has the tendency for things to if there it's also a bit of the same where if you have a high pressure zone and a low pressure zone if you have air that's more pressurized over here than over here or even if it's not air if it's water whatever if you have a high pressure zone and a low pressure zone it and they're connected the pressures will equalize and it, it's a little bit of that same thing but convection currents and diffusion on on Earth allow ca the candles to continue to burn by allowing a cycle of oxygen to continue to fuel the flames. The same effects are present when you breathe. On Earth, because of the different densities, lighter air rises, or also hot air, because it's lighter, because it's more expanded, also rises. But in space, where you're, there's zero gravity or even microgravity, there is no up, there is no down, so hot air can't rise. So if you try to burn a candle in space, as you can see in these two pictures, a regular candle on Earth has a normal flame because of convection currents, whereas a flame in space doesn't have these same effects. So it just kind of creates almost an orb, and then once it burns all that oxygen, it just goes out. Now, that same issue can happen without proper ventilation, to somebody breathing in space. If you're not moving around inside the spaceship, if you, so when you go to sleep, if you, most astronauts when they sleep, get into a sleeping bag that's attached to a wall so that they don't float around and, get, and bump into shit while they're sleeping. Now, they need to make sure that that sleeping bag is in a place that's properly ventilated because otherwise, the fact that there is no gravity causes the air that they exhale to just kind of sit there and they create a bubble of co2 around their head and it's got low volumes of oxygen left in that air so basically if there's no airflow cycling that and mixing it together what happens they wake up dying because they have no oxygen going into their brain or no oxygen going into their lungs or anything that's one of the biggest difficulties about sleeping in space is if you are in one position then that means the air around you can pool and cause a CO2 bubble around your head. But if you're not in one position, if you're free floating through sp or in the area, if you're free floating in zero G's and you're trying to sleep, like you'll just get moved along with the air and you'll end up getting hitting uh, a ventilation like a vent that's sucking air in. So the problem that they have to face is they need to have ventilation to their heads because you always want to be able to breathe in space. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen here, hit the like button. Comment down below and let me know what you think about space, zero Gs, and convection currents. Or let me know about what you think about anything. I don't care. Let's start a discussion in the comments. Hit the subscribe button for more sweet videos like this. We put out one to two videos a week. And that's all. Never stop learning.